Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testicles. One, two, three. All right, guys. Well, today they are doing some construction here, so I'm probably going to wind up going silent uh, with my microphone uh, here in a few minutes, uh, just so that you all don't have to deal with that. Um, <clears throat> that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Once again, this is L.A. Noir, my favorite game, or one of my favorite games of all time, just because of the fact that it was so beautifully made. Yes, it was done by Rockstar before they stopped doing their whole we're only going to work on Grand Theft Auto Online bullcrap. Start making games again, please. Thank you. And um, so it's just a beautiful game. Uh, and today I believe we are doing, let's see, what? is the case file for today. Uh, there we go. Come on, what are we doing today? Wow. It looks like we're going to be on the silk socking, the silk socking murder. So I'm just going to show this to you for a second. Uh, I don't know if you can say that very well. I believe that's supposed to be stocking. So whoever it is that wound up typing that into uh, this website, you need to go back in and you need to correct your mistake. I do not like uh, illiteracy. So, yes, that is supposed to be stocking, not socking. <clears throat> we are not socking somebody in the face, no. But we might, I don't know. It, it's, it's a detective game, so I'm sure we'll probably do that at some point through this episode. Once again, Seaman, Seaman, has signed back in. All right. Well, there we go. Let's see. All right. Resume. The si yep. Like I said, the silk stocking. Go back in and fix your mistake, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Cool. All right. Like I said, I think that I am going to be muting my microphone at some point. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing this until uh, they start back up again though, because they seem to be quiet for the moment. Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Finbar. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner.
You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Start the show. How interesting. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. What is it? The cause of death is pretty apparent. Oh. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Kiss the blood, BD. Wow. Once again, guys, please keep in mind that this is a game where we are going to be seeing quite a bit of grossness. Now, obviously, whenever we are inspecting the bodies, this is... Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. This is usually the worst of it. Um, <clears throat> thankfully it doesn't get any worse than this, and thankfully we only have to do this so often. Unfortunately, uh, lacerations on the neck of... would indicate a great deal of force. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copycat. Strangle, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar <coughs> color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. May as well follow the trail. Antonia. Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. Thank you. 
proximity to the scene, plus the bloodstains, no way is this coincidence. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably. That's got to be a code or a cipher. Two, five, three. Wow. <clears throat> what am I doing now? Am I going up? Oh, good lord. Where yeah. are you taking us? This guy is sick. All right. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phil. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Trail points up. Good lord. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Oh, shoot. Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown.
Why is the crime scene still not checked off? That doesn't... That doesn't compute. That doesn't make sense. That was too... Uh, uh. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Sorry, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Let's, does let's Mrs. Do Maldonado this, uh... live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara LaPente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. All right, so if we're calculating this <clears throat> as being the year 1945. What are we waiting for? Quiet, Rusty. All right, in 1945, if these rooms cost 35 cents, Per day. That is an inflation rate, and it takes it up to $5.90 for 2023. <clears throat> so that's $5.90 every day. If you were to be paying that in 2023. Now, let's see. I believe that the, uh, the beds it said was... 19 cents and that would be three dollars and 20 cents a day so we calculate that that it comes out to hey Cole let's get moving okay Finbar if we calculate that up that comes out to uh, just over nine dollars a day that you'd be paying. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this, this morning. Dead? Oh no! She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. What are we waiting for? Rusty, if you don't stop, I'm about to slap you. Frankie, old drunk. Look at that. Someone's turned the place over.
I am writing to inform you that your petition okay, to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted <clears throat> court date scheduled. Your case docket number 98765 will be heard on September 17th. I am told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldano, residing at 30, no, 304 slash 330 North Hill Street, Los Angeles, California, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear at the Central District Court on the above date. Although it is not essential and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you to also, also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled date. In my experience, a woman's a woman plaintiff's presence in cases like this one can do much to influence proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September seventeenth, which you have told me is likely, then it can only help our chances. Yours sincerely. Oh, there we go. Frederick D. Tattersall. What kind of name is that? A smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about Windows, Phelps. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. I wonder where it was taken from. Perhaps a church. been interesting at that uh, pail and shovel led to another clue up underneath the sand. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Didn't break in. Broke out. No, 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 they broke. They went out the window. Wait a minute, hold on. There's glass on this side. And glass on that side, okay. All right, well, that's confusing. I was always told that if somebody broke a window from the inside, the glass would be on the outside. If somebody breaks a window from the outside, the glass is going to be on the inside. charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. Something. 
I know that I can't be because there's nowhere else to look. Alright. Well, let's go interrogate this chick. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? No! That can't be true. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. He gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the older robber. Let's go to El Dorado. A nosy old hag? Ah! And I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. <laughs> You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. Sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times, Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good, real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three, though. No big deal. After a while, you just numb yourself. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. 
Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angela kill her as well as a piece of shit. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night? 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. She was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. Keep in mind, he did just mention that he was not the only one that was working last night. There was also a guy from the temp agency. Now, earlier in the game, uh much, much earlier, a few episodes back, I believe that we wound up having a conversation with a bartender that was from a temp agency as well. So I'm wondering if that's going to lead anywhere. Let me discuss this. Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. <sighs> okay. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She wanted a cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. Boot market across the street. Just picked fruits. That's the cop. Shut. Great. We'll need to come back later, Phelps. Maybe somebody here saw Antonia the night she died. (sighs) 
Let's go back to the Eldorado bar just for one second. I want to see if there's a newspaper or something laying around in there. Where's that goddamn waitress? What do we have? I've been turning for salad. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? What was that? I walked over something that. Did you cover my shift on Wednesday? I have an audition. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their tequila. Fine, thanks. That. What, what am I missing? Just trying to run past something. Just picked fruit market. <laughs> That's where Antonia went to call for a cab last night. It's right here. Why would I need to come back here? Why did they not clear that off the list of places I needed to go? How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week.
Aldonado is in apartment 304. Yes, okay, come on, stop, stop, stop. I do want to check this side though, too, just to see. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, motherfucker. You're under arrest. We gotta hit somebody. I got a hundred pounds of wife. I got nothing to say to you. Damn, they got some decent shots in there. I know, little man. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? Should get the whole place of going over, and then talk to the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Actually, I didn't get hit once, asshole. This will take some explaining. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. Just picked fruit market. Suppliers to the El Dorado. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Place left to check.
there's like a sort of reason for us to be out here, but since we're out here, we're just gonna get the black head out. I couldn't see anything in there. Yeah. I got plenty of intuition points, so they should be allowing me to do that. If KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 K, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. Shit. 11 K, en route. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. Him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This Black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? The fucking case gets knocked away from the guts. Oh. Every prom queen from every fucking hick. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. I gave his wife a tap. I said, "All the air and love and war." I was door knocking. Would you look at this? Clown? <laughs> I found the stairs stairs first. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I'm stumped. Ideas? If the brass are handling Dahlia evidence, they'll have it locked up in the tech services dungeon. Let's go. Boys! Come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and type from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. You would not give a square deal of you BD techs. Let's investigate further if we can. Can we not do that? No? Okay. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. Ill deeds, then be thou damned. Beholding good, both infinite as in, in as is the universe. Wow. And thou and thyself self torturing thou thou and thyself torturing solitude. Good lord. That's a mouthful. An awful image of calm power. Though now thou sittest, let the hour come when thou must appear to be that which thou art internally. After many a false and fruitless crime, scorn track thy
lagging fall through boundless space of time. Wow, that's that's too much. That's why we called you in. You think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what does it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan, a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We had the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Damn. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Looks like I was mistaken. Don't you walk away from me now, asshole! I was married by a judge. Should ask for can, I, can I leave? Can I leave? Yeah, there we go. Let's leave. So I, I feel like. That you never saw. <sighs> how, how am I supposed to get? Husband's alibi. Are we going to the Mocambo this Friday? Okay. Something's wrong here. Waterboard. We didn't do something right. I, I don't know what's wrong. We had to have done something wrong.
the El Dorado must be a family favorite. see if we can try to get to probably nothing that and I want to try because this is frustrating I don't like that I'm missing something according to this he's lying about his last contact with the victim but that last contact with the victim you have to claim that can you Evidence go to this one? Is the husband's alibi, which doesn't make any sense. Because we don't have that as our. We need to find out where the husband was. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. All right, they're still closed. We're not gonna be able to get in there, but. Said next door. Double check the Eldorado again. This is gonna be weird, but. Top of my class, back east. A waitress. Can I have another food? Hey, honey, what time did you get off with the Great. Excuse me, would you detectives? You know the way, you can drive. And where exactly are we going? Why did Mandano residents not get checked off after I did that? <sighs> I knew there was something I 
Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go do something completely different. The big apartment building. So let's go see if there's any neighbor's doors that we can knock on. Try number these three oh four, so let's try two oh four. That's two oh three. Two oh four. Nope, can't do that one. Can't do that one either. Alright. Let's go back up to the third floor and see if Ha-ha! Yes! 303. Perfect. No good. There's nobody here. Ah, but 305, maybe. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I worked nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. That's the best that we can do. That's the best that you can give me. Rusty, pick your hat up. Pick it up. Come on, walk over it. You're standing on your hat. This is the best. Wait a minute. You got another chance. Hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD. Were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated. And uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. <sighs> last chance. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag too, Phelps. Well executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. <laughs> Rusty sack. All right, now, let's go do this. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Yay, got checked out. All right, Central Police Station.
Okay. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Rusty. Drunk, mister, or you just cracked. You can drive. Oh, and shit. where exactly are we going? We're not, we're not going anywhere. We're staying here. Okay. We're back. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right, but she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Oh, God. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. Wait, what was the... Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed That's her? That's what I thought, yeah. We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. I don't believe you, Angel. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept a divorce. The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Adonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What difference does that make? When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. 
She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. You didn't do it. He did not do it. <clears throat> What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? We'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. What in the This is 11K. We'll handle the 415. 11K, officer needs help. 415 shots fired. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 313 Bunker Hill Avenue. 11K, code 3. Why don't you come on out, Jimmy? I won't let them hurt you. Not my honey boy. I told you not to call me that woman. Now shut the hell up. You shut the hell up. Is that the lady of the house? It's a nice story. Two old lovebirds just moved in together. But they had a falling out, and he chased her across the yard with a 12 gauge. 
Now it's gonna go. Get the bastard! Officer down! Give yourself up! Now! You're a cop killer! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. You're behind the wheel. I don't feel like driving. Uh, gosh, okay, wow. Sir, I'm the... Wait, you look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey. You're getting the wrong idea. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, not much. I sell the odd bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. Now she seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination.
And there's bloodstained clothes inside this drawer here. Why can't I count that as... Cut someone who was already dead. It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Must have seen it during the war. This fruit stall punk gets about ten seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! God damn it, get after him, Cole! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Ah! We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Hit him, Cole! Spin him out! I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. Yeah, I'm gonna make you personally visit myself so and remind you that crime this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Why are the guys giving it to the doggies? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Yeah, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? He's bad juju. That's enough out of you three! Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp?
Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, the fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown or Fremont Avenue. Skipper, all right, guys. is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. All right, guys. I think we're going to stop it here. When we get back next time, uh, we're going to be playing this uh, case file. It's going to be the White Shoe Slaying. Uh, it looks interesting. Hopefully, we can finally catch the Black Dahlia Killer. Apparently, that is... Apparently that is still something that we have yet to do. So let's Mount let's work on this and try to get this taken care of. Thank you guys for joining in indeed. and have a we great day, guys. Up, but the bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love of fat. I'll take care, okay? Thank you. Have a good one.